Uh, bad news. So for my car, I have uh, almost 90,000 miles. And for the misfire on the four cylinder, the spark plugs, it didn't fix it. And I actually brought it into Gilroy Automotives and they said that there was damage within the cylinder. The PSI was about 60 and most likely I would need another engine. So I pretty much ordered, I put down a deposit for three grand uh, Saki bomb and then it's going to cost me like maybe another three grand or another $3,500 to get it installed. And I'm still debating whether or not I should revert it back to stock or just... Uh, just swap out the motor and then keep it boosted. I'll have to do smog next year in August, but I figure I'll cross that road when I need to. So my options are uh, keep it maxed out or I could put the headers back on. Then I would have to get another tune and then I would pass smog most likely. Or I could just take the supercharger off and have it stock. But I think that I just the car wouldn't be fun, and I, I also went to went to Toyota, and I asked them about that Prius, the new one that's coming out, and they have like a eight thousand to six thousand dollar markup on those cars, and it drives decent. It's a decent car. I was trying to detach from cars so that I don't spend money, but I mean either way, like this is the cheaper option of just to fix the car, and well, we'll see. Cause I, I also said that uh, may, maybe it would help me with my mental health if uh, if I just bought a Prius. Cause then I wouldn't be caring about a car. Yes, it would be boring. It would be efficient. It would, I would be spending a lot more money. I wouldn't be investing this year essentially. So I'm, I'm not gonna give up on this car. But we'll, we'll see. Well, most likely when when it does get fixed, that uh, I, I just won't push it as hard. Cause essentially I, I, I was pushing the car as fast as it could go. And the the girl where I shop, they were like, oh, you know, the the dance stall, like the the equipment properly. And then I, I pretty much said, you know, I'm not gonna blame anybody for for my car because I assume all of the risks when I modify it. So essentially, for the supercharger, I only got fifty thousand miles out of it, out of the engine. And it's kind of a surprise, but it is a part. It is what it is. That if, if you want more power. It's going to wear the engine out faster, the components, it puts more stress on everything. So, technically some guys, they're like, yeah, you know, I, I like it naturally aspirated. Because there's less problems, but it's boring though, in my opinion. The, if, if it's not boosted somehow, then it's not going to make you wet. It's not going to like give you the tingles, you know. But for, for sure, when, when, when the car was stuck, I wasn't as, as aggressive when I'm driving it around, but then... You know, there, there's a difference between it. If I had like a V8 in here, I would get in so much trouble. I pro it would probably be like wrecked already. The, um, two, 200 horsepower, 175 foot pounds of torque, that's manageable. It's like uh, riding like a 250cc bike where you can max it out. It would be pretty hard to do something stupid in this car because uh, even with the modifications, it's underpowered in my opinion. So fixing some I have a really big crack and I think it came from the flagpole that was there. It was pretty windy in my area. So um, I'm just trying to fix it and knock on wood that I don't have to waste my time replacing the glass again. Because it was a pain because essentially when they take these panels off, they break them. And my deductible is about a G. It's about $1,000. So it's not a matter of if the storm's coming, it's when is it going to come. And this could be in terms of like financial expenses because for for this year for the first two months i was chilling you know I, I paid off my bills i had investment money but then as soon as i got my tax bill i was like damn that's a lot of money and then now i have to spend like six thousand plus dollars on my car but it's still cheaper than me buying a new car because then i would have to pay uh you know more and more for insurance more for registration you know taxes and all that and it, it's crazy that it's it's like a six thousand dollar markup for a Prius for a basic Prius and on. Um, I I just told the guy he's mad cool at a Gilroy Toyota. The I, I couldn't swing that amount and even if it was sticker, I I still wouldn't want the car. Cause it, it's more about how much you buy the car for. The, if if you get a good deal, it makes you feel good about it. Versus if if you know you're overpaying, it's kind of like a. I'm I could wait, you know. I'm, I don't really, really need it, and it's not going to be better than my car for sure. It, it's going to be more efficient. It would, 
it would have a better gas mileage and all that. Oh, no, that, that new Prius, it's like a normal car. Essentially where uh, the previous generation, it was underpowered, but the new one, it, it's decent. All of the screens are matte clear. The interior looks nice. The, the outside is decent, you know. That's a basic Toyota. And you, you, you could pretty much get up and go. When you get on the highway and then you take off, it's no problem. All right, let, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll check you guys later.